Events are a huge investment for any organization. And while it takes a number of teams coming together to produce a successful event, it always falls on the marketing team to ensure that the right attendees show up and the sponsors are happy. Event and experiential marketers have a number of tools at their disposal, but when it comes to really capturing the heart of your event, showcasing its value and creating excitement and FOMO, there really isn't a tool quite as sharp as multimedia content. When you strategically, audio and video content will not only build a year-round awareness, but it will also drive significant registration numbers, filling the seats, and ultimately providing that ROI that organizations are looking for. If you want to amplify your event marketing with multimedia content, we're going to dive into four ways to do just that. Stick around. Yeah. The first step to leveraging this content starts at your next event. If you haven't been doing so already, start capturing as much multimedia content on site as you can. Your event is a treasure trove of content opportunities between the keynote speakers and the sessions, the workshops and case studies, the cocktail receptions, show floor interactions, you have the opportunity to build a huge library of content pulled from your event. Once you have this captured, the possibilities are endless. Now, while endless possibilities can be exciting or overwhelming, depending on who you are, let's start things simply with four easy and creative ways to incorporate multimedia into your next event marketing campaign. Event showcase videos. Think of this as the theatrical trailer for your upcoming event. These high quality showcase video assets can be used on YouTube, social media, and embedded right on your website in full 16 by nine format. Ultimately, the goal of these videos should be to answer the question, why should I care? So how do you answer this question? Capture the lifeblood of your event and give potential attendees a glimpse into what they can expect while attending. Start by identifying the highlights of your event. Maybe it's the lineup of keynote speakers, or it could be the networking opportunities attendees will have. If your event is hosted at a destination resort, it can even be the venue itself. You can even use feedback and testimonials from past attendees to identify what they felt was most valuable and really lean into those points. Your attendees will give you invaluable guidance on what to highlight in one of these showcase videos. Event showcase videos should be no more than one to two minutes in length and contain an assortment of highlighted clips from previous events. Keep things energetic by utilizing fun, upbeat music with quick video cuts that correspond to the tempo of the music. Now, if you have testimonial footage from previous events, which you really should be capturing anyway, pick the best clips and use them as much as possible. Nothing really gives your event more credibility than the experience of your past attendees who already love your event. Ultimately, an event showcase video should give your potential attendees a full overview of what to expect at your event and drive excitement. With this in mind, you should consider this a lower funnel piece of media that includes a clear CTA to register and any other next steps you need them to take. Strengthen PPC campaigns with promo in-stream ads. If your event showcase video is your theatrical trailer, your promo in-stream ad would be your teaser. This video is literally a shortened version of your event showcase video and is used for PPC campaigns, specifically YouTube and social advertising. If there was an elevator pitch for your event, this would be it. So with the event showcase videos, we talked about capturing the heart of your event and highlighting the key value features your potential attendees will experience while they're attending. Now it's time to distill that down into 15 to 30 seconds. And this isn't easy. Finding the right messaging in that short a time span can be really difficult, but by getting creative, you can definitely capture the attention of the endless scrollers on social media. Typically, we find on-screen animated text really effective here. Take the key features for your event and distill them down into a few keywords that you can highlight in animated text over the B-roll footage. This can really help in social feeds that are muted by default. Now keep in mind, you'll wanna take advantage of all the channels in your PPC campaigns. And to do this, you'll wanna have two versions of this video in different aspect ratios. You'll have 16 by nine, the horizontal, for pre-roll and mid-roll YouTube advertisements, as well as nine by 16 vertical for your social stories and streams. Now utilizing these eye-catching videos in your PPC campaigns will automatically elevate discoverability and brand image leading to higher conversions and ultimately the ROI you're looking for. Visual storytelling with social stories. 
Now with TikTok dominating the airways these days, especially with Gen Z, storytelling via social feeds has become an incredibly important piece of the event marketing puzzle. Now, unlike the polished event showcase videos we just discussed, these videos should be short snippets of content posted on a regular basis on TikTok or Instagram reels and stories. These videos should be 20 to 30 seconds in length, vertically oriented, the nine by 16 aspect ratio, and include animated transcriptions so viewers can consume the content even if their feed is muted. Sharing daily or weekly videos will ensure a consistent presence on your social feeds, maintaining a high awareness and piquing the interest on the different topics your event will be covering. While working with clients, we typically dive into the footage of previous sessions and keynotes to find snippets of their presentation that we feel will intrigue viewers into clicking through and learning more. It's a quick glimpse into the caliber of content that they'll experience while attending the event. Now you can even map this out so that these stories will enable viewers to click through to the full version of these sessions. And we'll cover a creative way to do that right now. Attendee engagement through podcasts. And of course, how could we not talk about podcasts? Podcasts are key to keeping your attendees engaged between your events, building a sense of community and keeping participants connected and informed. Now there are an infinite number of ways that you can position a podcast alongside your event. In fact, we published an entire blog post on how to do just that a couple of years ago. We'll post a link down in the show notes so you can give it a read if you want a more in-depth look. And maybe we'll even do a video about this in the future. But for now, here's a quick look at a few strategies. So the easiest way to produce a podcast alongside your event is to publish episodes of session replays from previous events. Let's face it, it's almost impossible for attendees to experience everything an event has to offer. And sometimes they need to skip a session for another one taking place at the same time. This happens to me all the time. And this strategy offers attendees the ability to tune into sessions they may have missed while also offering a long form preview of the content experience for folks that may not have attended yet. So with the social story videos we just talked about giving a short clip of a previous session, you could have that story linked to a podcast episode, which would contain the replay of the entire session. If you do this, be sure to include some commentary from a host talking about why they decided to highlight that particular session. You can even have the original session speaker on for some additional commentary. You could also set up a podcast booth on the show floor for on-site interviews at your event. These episodes usually contain a ton of energy as attendees and speakers are excited from sharing ideas during your event and are eager to share what they've learned. Not to mention, you also get a ton of energy from the background noise on the show floor. These episodes always do a great job of creating that good old fashioned FOMO. From amazing showcase videos to fun social stories and community building podcasts, these strategies can become one of the most powerful tools in the event marketer's toolbox. Building a successful event marketing campaign hangs on the thread of creativity, consistency, and real human connections. Telling your event story with audio and video consistently will grab the attention of your audience, develop these human connections, and make a lasting impression well after they've attended your event. Well, that's all I have for you today. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you're notified when we post new content and like the video if it was helpful. You could also head to our website for more video and podcasting resources. If you're interested in learning more about how to create some of these amazing multimedia experiences, feel free to reach out anytime. You can find a link in the show notes. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.